Good morning guys, happy Monday. So we are up, ready to go. It is about 10.30 right now. We have a couple text messages. Um, little Riley <laughs> is having her bottle. We just had some oatmeal and now she needs her bottle. Hey cutie pie, why are you so cute? Oh, you look so adorable, yeah. <laughs> um, so she's having her bottle and then we are gonna go take the stroller and go walk to Target. I'm gonna get a coffee there. I'm gonna get her a little nightlight because she doesn't have a nightlight in her room and she's just been having those nightmares, I guess. It's a, something in the leap right now. I use the Wonder Weeks app. I had so many DMs of people asking me what app I was using because I showed like what it was saying and how it's like spot on right now. Yeah, so it's the Wonder Weeks app and it tells you like the leaps that they're going through when they're out of it. She still has about like two more days, one or two more days until she's out of this one. But um, everything I was saying, I was like, oh my God, this is it. It's so much of her to a T. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And by the way, again, I've got so many DMs about the high chair. Um, I'm going to do a post on Instagram, which I think it's already live right now. But Orabelle was really kind enough to send it to me. I think I spoke about this in the previous vlog, but they were kind to send it to me. And <laughs> it's so much better, you guys. I told my sister about it. I was like, you need to get this one. It is awesome. Um, my mom has a juvie. And that one's really nice too, but this one's a lot more easier to use and get around. Like it's a lot more efficient and not like as bulky and heavy. And the tray is actually easier. The tray on the Juvie is, it's easy, but it's not as easy as this one. <laughs> so, and I just love the way that this one also looks, but also just the functionality of it is by far worth it. I know this one's expensive though. That's like the only thing. So, it really comes down to what's in your budget, but I love it, I'm obsessed. Hey guys, so I just wanted to give you a quick little update on my brother's um, son's delivery and everything, because I said I was gonna do that before we leave for Target. This one is playing around right now, I'm sitting in her playpen. So yesterday, we went there at like one to two o'clock. Riley, we gotta say goodbye bye. Guess who we're gonna go see? We're gonna go see Auntie Trang and Uncle Chris and they're having her baby. So she is getting induced. Um, I think she's at two and a half centimeters, 90% e-faced, getting induced. I have a feeling it's gonna be a really long day. You're ready to have a cousin? You're not gonna be the only grandbaby anymore. She was only two and a half centimeters dilated. She was on Pitocin since 7.30 in the morning, barely progressed. Um, yesterday was actually her due date. So a little bit behind the scenes of everything. She, I, from what we gathered is that the doctor was thinking the baby was measuring big and he was giving them a heads up that there is a chance that this might end up in C-section. Um, especially because this little guy just did not want to come out. Um, cause we were kind of confused with why he wanted to induce on her due date and not wait a couple days later. There's just like the communication barrier. Um, my brother's wife speaks Vietnamese. She doesn't speak very much English. So it's kind of like hard to, like we pick things up that she says, she picks things up that we say, but it's not always like super clear. <laughs> so, um, but that's what we started gathering. So they end up having to break her water around like three, four o'clock. And that's when her contractions really started picking up. So she ended up getting the epidural at like two centimeters. And then I believe at seven, eight o'clock, she was only four centimeters dilated. Um, and then at four o'clock in the morning, they realized again, she was only four centimeters dilated. Yeah like was not progressing. So they're like, okay, we need to do a C-section. This baby's not gonna come out. So they did a C-section. He ended up being 10 pounds, one ounce, and 21 and a half inches tall. Dang! I couldn't imagine, like, thank God they did a C-section because could you imagine trying to push that out, especially because his wife is so tiny? I could not imagine. So we are gonna go see him today around one o'clock and then I think my sister and her husband are gonna go about four o'clock after work. Kind of like a little update for the week. I am uploading videos, I, I uploaded my Ipsy video and then I am gonna upload my blush declutter and then I'll have a PR haul on Saturday because these were all videos I had for last week that I didn't upload. So I'm gonna upload them this week. I'm actually not gonna do any filming this week because Riley's Day Claire is closed and I actually have Joel out of town right now. He comes back in town soon. It's just that it will be, I've got no one. Uh, my mom's busy. I'm gonna be a stay at home mom. Um, I am gonna kind of work cause at night I'll be doing the vlog stuff and getting that all ready for the previous day and scheduling everything. But that's, that's about it. 
so it'll be kind of nice like a nice little break and we'll kind of refresh and then we'll come back to the main channel but i'm really really excited just to kind of spend my whole days with her even though i'll probably be looking forward to nap time each day but yeah so we have a lot of fun things planned like we're gonna do we're gonna do the nordstrom shopping tomorrow and then we are going to do we're gonna go visit one of my she's basically my sister annie I have known her since I came home from the hospital. We lived on the ranch together, and she's basically a sister to me. She actually has a little boy who's a little over one right now, so we're gonna finally get him and Riley together. We basically both cloned ourselves, you guys. Like, her little boy is identical to her when she was a kid, and she's like, it was the ranch water, and I'm like, I know. Well, now we're gonna see with Ashley, like, what's gonna happen? But yeah, she's like basically our other sister. I don't know what we're doing Thursday or Friday yet. I wanna do something fun, maybe like go to the zoo early in the morning, but I just kinda like wanna have a fun week. I'll be vlogging it all. I'm gonna change your diaper, and then I'm gonna get on the way to Target because I need another coffee, and I need to get her a nightlight because she's getting those night terrors. Not night terrors, but like nightmares. Because, well, she's waking up and like crying, and then she, well, she'll put herself back to sleep, and sometimes she won't. So it's been like that the last couple nights and I don't know why. There's no reason for you to be having nightmares. So I wanna get her a nightlight for her room so it's not like dark in there. fell asleep on the way here. She woke up when I came back into the house, but I just put her down on her crib so she could take a little bit more of a nap. But this is what I wanted to get for her. It's the Hatch Baby Rest. It's the same brand as the scale and changing pad that we have. I give it to my sister now because we don't use it anymore, honestly. It's just, it has a strap on it, but it's so dangerous. Like she would take that thing with her because she's so big and she just rolls and goes. So it's a lot safer to change her on the ground. But I saw this and it's like a nightlight. It's a nightlight, sound machine, and time to rise. So she can have this for a long time. And it's supposed to encourage healthy routines, comfort throughout the night. So I'm gonna try this out. I love it that it's an app on my phone. So we're gonna see how this goes. I'll let you guys know tomorrow how the night goes, but hopefully, crossing fingers, she doesn't have any more like little episodes of waking up and crying. So it is actually, 7.51, so, um, wow, it's already 7.51, so I have little Riley down right now. This is her. So she is playing in her bed, but she's at least being quiet. She'll probably go down here, like, within 10 minutes. Um, the Hatch is doing really good, though, because it's playing music for her. She was actually pretty intrigued, so she, like, calmed down. She's playing. I let her crawl all throughout this bedroom like crazy just to get as much energy as she can out, but, uh, she it's like she reawoken again and her personality is coming out so hardcore right now she's not easy going <laughs> she was a very she was a very easy going baby newborn but she's got a stubborn side to her and it's starting to come out, you guys. It's starting to really come out. So I'm trying to like work with her with patience. Um, so like if I see her getting impatient with her food and whatnot, I am not rushing it to her. I am like, patience a virtue. I go, you need to learn patience. And I take my time because she needs to learn it. So I try to just be like that with her. Um, but yeah, she, her personality is really coming out. But. Anyways, went and visited my brother in the hospital and Trang and little Hunter. So his name is Hunter Sterling 
so cute love it um he was again 10.1 pounds and 21 and a half inches tall he is so it's so funny because he is such a big newborn but i have a baby right now and he's so small compared to what i have right now that i'm like i go he's still he's big newborn but i go he's still so little um riley was like uh, she was when she was 10 pounds, she was two months. She basically gave birth to a two month old, um, which is insane. But he is so cute. He looks like a little mini Trang, my brother's wife. Looks like a boy version of her and it is adorable. He is so cute and just like a big baby. He's strong. You can tell he's also barrel chested, so he's like really strong. You can, you can just tell he's gonna be a strong little man. So, so excited for them. She's healing quite well. Um, she looks like she's feeling a lot better. I mean, she's still in pain, of course, but she looks like she's doing a lot better than she did yesterday. So she was in labor for 22 hours and then they finally did a C-section because she didn't even really know what was going on. Like I was kind of talking to her or from what I gathered, because like I told you guys with the language barrier, she was, um, didn't really know that she was going in for a C-section when they took her in. She was like, what's going on? But she's been so weak and so tired that she really hasn't been able to hold the baby. Um, so she, I don't think she's really held him that much because she's just so weak and I go, you know what? I actually remember that so well. I was, I remember holding her and I was so scared I was gonna drop her because I felt so weak. And I was only in labor for 12 hours. So I couldn't imagine going 22 hours in labor and then having a C-section after that, like super mom. Baby's actually in the NICU right now because his blood sugar is low. So that, I guess that's very common with babies that are 10 pounds because they're getting so much insulin in the womb. When they come out, they're not getting that anymore. There she goes. Um, so they have him on insulin right now. She was in gestational diabetes from, we ended up asking the doctor because we just wanted to find out for ourselves. So she wasn't gestational diabetes. Um, it's just a big baby, big baby. So it looks like he'll be out of the NICU next, I mean, not tomorrow night, he should be out. That's what they said. They want three full feeds with low glucose levels to make sure that he is able to sustain without the insulin. So that's what they're doing. And yeah, so all is good though, I mean, just so happy to have a good healthy baby thriving and whatnot so yeah so so excited for them life will be very different from now on just like that she'll put herself to sleep though she's fighting it yep up and up in the mouth i have to put her down though because she needs to know that's bedtime but i actually have joel's clothes down here i'm actually gonna fold them so i try to watch the new charmed you guys i tried so hard and i was just like no you ruined it like you so ruined my charmed um so i went and saw that they had the old one on netflix so i am re-watching all the episodes i've watched this series like so many times it never gets old i loved it and it's so funny that it was like i think it was in 99 when it first aired or something like that i don't know but um i love it it's so good and the fashion and everything it just throws you back in the music so i'm watching that right now <laughs> All right, so now that I'm done with folding clothes and everything, I'm going to wash off my face and wash off my face, wash off this makeup. I am tired right now. And then get this vlog and everything ready for tomorrow or get the vlog that I filmed yesterday ready for tomorrow. So anyways, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna use to wash my face. So I've been using the Tatcha Pure One Step Camilla Cleansing Oil. I love this stuff. I have been through maybe like three or four of these. I honestly like switch back and forth with this one. I also use the Elemis Cleansing Balm, which I really, really like too. Um, but I love the pump on this so I don't have to like get this stuff underneath my fingernails And then I have two empties that I have been saving to show on my Instagram stories I just haven't had the time to do it yet because I also have to get the links for them So this is the origins original skin cleansing makeup removing jelly who remembers us this launched a while back I actually just finally finished it up because I had it in my shower. So this is all gone I actually really enjoy this one. This one did a really good job at removing makeup as well 
Um, I still think though that I might like the Tatcha one better though because it's not as thick. And then I also ran out of the Saki Balm Nourishing Shampoo from Dry Bar. It looks like there's some left in there, but honestly, there really isn't a whole lot. Like I can't get enough out because of the bottle type, but I love this stuff. It's so good. I actually already have a backup underneath my sink that I purchased a while back. And yeah, so I ran out of this one. I think I still have the conditioner back there, but I ran out of this, really like it, definitely recommend it. I just wish the bottle was different. I don't know why, but it's just always hard to squeeze them out. But I'm gonna go ahead and wash my face with this, um, take off my makeup, and then I'm going to go in with the Fresh Sugar Strawberry Exfoliating Face Wash right here. I have been loving this. You guys are gonna see this in my favorites video probably this month because it is so good. I like it that it's like a gentle exfoliator, so I use it every night to really make sure I have all my makeup off. Sometimes I will go in with it in the morning as well to um, help exfoliate my skin before going in with makeup if I'm knowing that, noticing that it's like, my foundation is not sitting on my skin right, so I'll go in with that. Another one I've been enjoying is the Tula Skincare, the So Polish Exfoliating Sugar Scrub. This one's also really good, but it's definitely more abrasive. So if you have sensitive skin, I would go more for this one over this one, but this one's still just as good. So I've been using that, and then sometimes um, in the morning or at night, I'll go in with the Calendula Deep Cleansing Foaming Face Wash from Kiehl's. I've been enjoying that too. I just kind of rotate things here and there, but yeah, so I'm gonna go wash my face with this, with these products right here. And then I also have been back to using my Lancome Advanced Genifique. I love this stuff. I'll go in with this and then also with a moisturizer on top. I don't know what moisturizer I'm gonna use yet. I wanna kind of see how my skin is and then figure that out, but time to wash it. Another product that I've been using is the LMS Peptide 4 Plumping Pillow Facial. It's just a nice gel like sleeping mask. So this is another one I've been testing out. Honestly, like, I mean, it's nice, but it's not my favorite. I also use a washcloth every single time. My face is so red whenever I wash it. But um, yeah, like I was saying, I use a washcloth every single time that I, oh, holy man. Hey, little man, don't worry. I'm staying here. It's okay, buddy. Just to make sure I can like exfoliate it and really get it clean. I just always get so red. So anyway, so I'm going to change and go to sleep. So I hope you guys enjoyed the vlog and I will see you guys in tomorrow's because we're going shopping at Nordstrom. <laughs>